Spencer, what's your uh, involvement with the KSI or JJ? Or yeah, JJ. So um, basically, I done the, I put the first event on for them. Um, Is that the one with Joe Weller then? Yeah, KSI, KSI versus Joe Weller. So Stuart, Stuart Jones, his agent, contacted me about putting a boxing show on. He knows my involvement with the boxing world and um, put that event on, that was a success, so they've asked me to, to do the same for this so one. So that was the biggest white collar event of all time, yep. and now you're going to outdo it by yep. perhaps even double. We've, we've, up, we've up the game, up to our game, yeah, <laughs> we've done really well, so yeah, um, Jake and Logan Paul both boxing on this one. Listen, it's going to be a massive event, it's going to be huge, I mean it's going to be boxed by tens of millions around the world. Do you, I mean, this is, I was saying to him before, you know, I mean, it's only his second fight. Mm. Uh, he's fighting six threes, am I right? Yeah, no, he done six threes in his first one as well. I, I, so. well, well, he didn't because he stopped him in the third, yeah, didn't absolutely. he? Yeah, absolutely, but it was scheduled for six. <laughs> I advised him against it. I said, listen, it's going to be tough, but they've looked, they've trained so hard. They've been traveling around, sparring. He's been sparring all over the place as well. I, I, know, I know you know that, but mm. it, it doesn't matter how hard you train. It's that fear factor that can kill you in there, isn't yeah. it? And he seems to deal with it fairly well, but... They I mean, they, they, can deal with the, they can deal with the pressure, they can deal with the pressure well, but listen, six threes, if it goes six threes, is a difficult job to do for anyone. And he's got to be giving a bit of weight away, because that Logan Paul is a, is a bit of a unit, isn't it? Yeah, there's actually not no weight involved. No, I think they're both 195 pounds, I believe. Right. So, yeah, although, although JJ's smaller, KSI is smaller, yeah. um, he's stockier. Um, and, yeah, Logan's tall, tall and, and leaner. But, yeah, the weight's the same. Yeah, well, no, and why, uh, why at the arena as well? Sorry? Why at the arena? What do you mean? Why, why, why at Manchester Arena? Just you because know? it's a bigger venue than they, the one that they could get in London. Um, that was the that was the venue was available at the time, and so yeah, they took it. Listen, it doesn't matter where they put these events on. They, you know, people will come. I've met people at Ricky Hatton's open workout gym that come from, come over from LA. They come over from the states. They, they come from all over. Um, it's insane. It's crazy. I was saying to um, JA before. It's 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 a surreal phenomenon mm. because. 19 million people uh, subscribe to him yeah. and he's doing something that most professional fighters can only ever dream about sure. he's selling out the arena well he's got like listen they, they get a totally different audience these youtubers are, are, have got a massive massive audience and what they're actually doing is really it's good for boxing because they're introducing boxing to that world as well these are the young kids that are coming through and then hopefully they will watch they will watch KSI versus Logan Paul and think, you know what, I really like that. I'm going to start watching Anthony Joshua and I'm going to start watching all the stuff that we do on Sky. So I think that, you know, it can only be good for boxing as in the bo it, it, it opens the door to yeah, a bigger well, I think boxing Michael audience. Has done that. He's also made it possible for, for coaches and gyms to, sure. to run full time now, haven't they? Yeah, You know, absolutely. because, uh, you know, they've got, I, as I say, boxing is the new keep fit, isn't it? Um, yeah. You know, it's like the new yoga. It's all of, over of, the place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it people are doing boxing everywhere because, you know, they love it. So many women are doing it, kids are doing it. It's a, it's a great way of keeping fit. You tone the whole body. Yeah, it's great. And how special is it though for a guy, an old Joe, to come off the street and train next to a world champion or a British champion or, you know, it, it's yeah. absolute madness. I mean, I remember when I was an amateur fighter, you know, even if I seen a professional fight, I'd get giddy. Because you just, <laughs> you, you weren't allowed to that's associate, what, would yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. That's what it's like. But listen, boxers are the most humble, down to earth people you're ever, ever going to meet. Um, and, you know, they're, they're all cool. They're all they all come from the same place and they've just done well for themselves you know they fought themselves out of you know certain areas that they come were, from and they've you, done really well were you barnet yeah i'm from barnet north london yeah, yeah because my brother was down there and you trained down at their gym what's in uh, mark prince with you then yeah mark prince is yeah mark prince is yeah. in their gym actually yeah he's just done something with us mark i still need to contact with mark a lot yeah so i'm from finchley boxing club originally which yeah. is club that produced Anthony Joshua, Derek Chisora, myself, Darren Barker started off there as well, so they've had a little bit of success. Right, well, uh, it's been a pleasure, mate. Yeah, uh, brilliant. Well, are you going to be down there on the night, I presume? Of course, yeah. And is Jake Wood going to be down there with you? Yeah, Jake's here as well. Jake comes in on Friday night. Does he do your podcast still with you? Yeah, of course, yeah, we're doing that. And it goes That comes out every Wednesday. Um, you see some great ones. Mark Prince, actually, is this week's guest, ah, right. um, which is really, really, really weird you mentioned his name. So, yeah, if you haven't seen it, it's um, Pound Podcast, um, Pound for Pound. Um, yeah, get it. All right, Spencer, it's Brilliant. been a pleasure, mate. Thank you Cheers. very much. See you Cheers, on. guys. Bye. Cheers, bye.